Hey guys, and welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Today we're going to be talking about our Azure order that we just picked up on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. We didn't get home till like 9:30 that night um, because it's about an hour and 40 minute ride for us that one way. And once we got back, we were pretty tired. We hadn't had anything to eat, and we did try something that night immediately. But come on, let's uh, get started on what I have and what I'm gonna do for you guys at the end. As I'm going with each video, I mean, um, each item, I'm gonna have the the price and the stuff for you, so you know what it is. Because if I try to explain it, I get really twisted. So we're gonna go with this. So right here, I bought the saber tooth pancake mix. This is um. A gluten-free item, paleo, and I'm going to tell you right now, we, we tried the uh, pizza crust from them, and that was absolutely amazing. And they do have their own website. I did notice that, and um, you could order right from the website. So the times when something maybe might be out at Azure, or you don't have, you're in between times, you could order from them. But I do recommend them a lot on a lot of... Um, she has a really amazing story that I wanted to share with you. Um, her name was, is Siphon Barefoot. She has six kids. Um, she grew up poor in Detroit, and she started running a 32-acre um, organic farm. And I'm going to tell you, she's been amazing, and her products are absolutely amazing. So way to go, Siphon. Um, Mama's Pancake Mix is next. That is the gluten-free again. And Bruce and I have, uh, um, since we've been making our own maple syrup this year, um, I wanted some quick and easy pancake uh, things so I didn't have to get every ingredient out and try to do something quick because we're trying to get started because of our garden and everything right now. And Bruce, hey, we have not tried these two, but Bruce praises. Um, it's right up there if you want to show them. Go up there. Up oh, where? Oh, yeah. Now, this right here is very good. The Bob's Red Mill. We had that with the maple syrup. Oh, yeah. That's and those are gluten-free. Yeah, that's really good. for the pro That's a good flour. Good yes. pancake mix. Yes. How can you go wrong with pancakes? Okay, and so next we have the um, the lemons, for the um, Meyer lemons. And I'm going to tell you, I bought these last month. And I put these every day. I usually use two in my water. And once with lemons, you know that these are good for um, freeze drying. You could you put them dehydrate them. I usually dehydrate them at 119, so it's a slow process. Uh, you always want to use organic when you're doing any of those. And I also will use those in like my water. Just if it, if it was freeze dried or dehydrated, I could throw those in my water or my tea. Um, it does have limonene, so that's a benefit when you're using any of the uh, lemons and limes. They, it helps reduce cholesterol. It's an appetite control, anti-inflammatory. It decreases stress, anti-accident, um, and many other be benefits like antimicrobial, antifungal, and you can also use it as nausea relief that a lot of people don't know about. And what Bruce will do, like sometimes when my stomach gets really upset, is he will cut some lemons and some honey, make me like a tea, like a peppermint tea, or he also just does lemon water and ginger and some honey. Yeah, I learned that in my, in my college, my medical <laughs> degree off YouTube. <laughs> so this is what we had right here um, Sunday night when we came back. That's and, good. Yes. So in Dr. McDougall, he has a lot of good products. A lot of them are not gluten-free, but we do try to stay with the gluten-free products. Um, and if you, you know, if it's, it is vegan, but if you didn't want to keep it vegan, you could add some cheese to it, or you could add some sour cream. But we came home and we added guacamole, and we, if I felt like it, we would have cut an onion up too and threw in there. But absolutely delicious. You could even put some salsa on it, or, or mm -hmm. even with some chips. So all we did is the boiling water method, and. Um, I poured the boiling water. It has some lines right up here at the top. Just kind of like the oatmeal, like the oatmeal you buy from Red's Bob Milk, Bob's Red Mill. Beep, beep, beep. Zip, 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 zip. That's all, folks. <laughs> Not really. Um, this here I got because I wanted to try 
Azures, and I had waited like two months to, um, before I could get these. Finally, they were in my box. And these things are already have been, we have already ate quite a bit. But a friend of ours, he actually had, what was it, hepatitis C? Mm -hmm. Um, He used to tell us, and this was back in like what, the early 2000s, he used to tell us, you got to eat the pith of your oranges. He says it helps with your um, liver. And here he's still living today. And that was like I say, back in the early 2000s. And he eats the, the rind and everything. And I'm telling you, my boys and I, we both snack on it just like a cookie. And it's very good. High in vitamin C. It's an antioxidant. Um, it's a, a lower salt. It's full of vitamin C. I don't know what else. Let's go with that. But anyways, any, there we go. We're moving on now to the chisserie route. Um, Star West Botanicals. Um, I actually have a count with Star, Star West Botanicals. But sometimes, you know, instead of making an order... It's easier just to make the order from right here. Uh, we use this here in our, some of our coffee, and but you can also use this as a coffee substitute. <clears throat> and let's see. I don't know why anybody would substitute coffee. I know, but it's it, it, <laughs> there's benefits in this, Bruce. Okay. There's benefits in coffee. Prebi it's a prebiotic, um, antioxidant. So basically, if you were going to make a pot, say you had um, a five cup pot, coffee pot, uh, you could do two. So it would be um, 10, 10 tablespoons to um, the five cups because it's two tablespoons of your chisserie root to one cup of coffee. So uh, then we have the uh, vanilla extract powder. This is something I used to use in some of the breads. So, and I've also used this in some of the soaps. We have a vanilla soap that we make. <clears throat> My goodness, what mm -hmm. is, I'm getting all tongue twisted here. Um, excuse me. And so I use that and I also use like the, um, the vanilla bean powder and also the vanilla bean, um, like it comes in a little bottle. The and they have the paste in my, um, one of my jams. Yes. So, this, uh, next we have the dandelion tea right here. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, now this is something that you don't want to use all the time, but uh, dandelion is an amazing product. I mean, it's an amazing herb, should I say. And it's, of course it's available everywhere, but here so far I have not seen a dandelion come. So I don't know yet what I will get, but at, back white. in my old farm, I like every year collected so many. We made dandelion jam, I mean mm -hmm. jelly, uh, dandelion wine, mm -hmm. and we made it into teas. We ate, we fried them up in the cast iron skillet. So we're very fond of dandelion, but it's something that I needed right now in my life. And uh, it, I will cycle off of this in two weeks. So I'm gonna use a lot of this for right now. And uh, because I suffered like this really bad sickness for the last month and now I'm finally better. And Thanks, I'm... Riggy. <laughs> That's our grandson. <laughs> but uh, I did buy one of these. This is for the uh, the nighttime, but it has the uh, Meadowsweet. Meadowsweet is an amazing herb also as well. And that can help you sleep plus it has hops in it it's right here on the side um linden flower passion flower and the licorice root which licorice root is one you don't want to take a lot of if you have high blood pressure but um i i love it so breathe easy this is what i used when i was um sick every night i made like two two bags and I'm gonna tell you, it did really help because when you know, like when you lay down and you got a respiratory infection or something, this stuff. So I made sure I stocked up on this this time. So here again is the dandelion root. These, uh, normally I would take these anyway if, um, you know, I was cycling on or off. So I didn't have any more. So I went ahead and got some. And this here is good for like the kidneys, um, the liver, 
and um, this also is it can help you make your hair grow. Um, well, I better get some of that then. So <laughs> let's see what else I had to tell you about it. I think that was okay. It's a bitter. That was one thing I could always tell you about. And they just say that it's very nutritious. There's a lot of good vitamins in it. Now, comfrey leaf, I can't say enough good things about comfrey. Um, but you have to really read up on that for yourself because that is something that there's a lot of controversy about. Um, but I make a comfrey salve. And I'm going to tell you right now, when you have a lot of um, pain, that really will help with... Um, uh, but that's a choice that you have to make because I'm not a doctor or anything. I don't, I'm not, uh, I just have studied this for many, many years. And was something else I was going to tell you about this comfrey. Um, but anyways, we'll move along. And I guess that was really it. And really it's just, I make the salves, uh, make the tincture, not the tincture, the, um, so we put it in our side. Yeah, too. there's one. Yeah, the oil, the tink, the the um, oil, infusion. infusion. Yes, yeah. thank infusion. you. Okay. I'll tell you. Yes, yes, yes. I know. If it's not me, it's you, right? <laughs> On the video. <laughs> okay, so we have here the uh, red onions, and I'm getting ready to make some pickled onions. But we bought onions every month. Except last month, I did forget to buy some, so I did have to buy some at the store. Yeah. So. Sure. We go through so many onions, and I actually have a surprise to show y'all at the end. Yeah. So, your your my problem is solved. And my problem is just beginning. <laughs> okay, so we we did get the um the yellow, I mean the white onions too, or the the um yellow is what they are, not the white. And then I also did buy this here. Um, I got the snow pack, the little frozen ones, and I'm going to put these in my freeze dryer because, you know, I like to um, do some freeze dry projects. And right now, you know, I haven't had a, much, a lot of uh, things to go in there. So I've been, I do, but I just. Yeah, we have plenty. We just don't have any time. Yes. So this I thought was be a quick and easy one. So, and then next we have the um, hazelnut extract. Okay. Yeah, I right. can't even see. There we go. There it is. And this here you could use for your cakes. You could um, use for uh, some of your pies. Or even you could put it in your coffee. So that is. Um, and here we have the uh, chocolate extract. Which I like to use this in one of my breads. And I was out of the chocolate extract. But also I thought this. Okay so like when I was sick and my daughter happened to be here. Um, she made me the Pamela's um, biscuits. Yes, and they were delicious. So, so the next time when my daughter comes, I said, you can make me the cake. cake. That's right. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah, so she can use the um, chocolate uh, extract and then the um, this. But the Pamela's products are amazing. If you haven't tried any of those, spot on. Yeah, they're good. For a gluten-free product. And then we got some of this uh, ginger syrup, which they talked about using this for um, pancakes and waffles and things or your French toast. I'll and also, I also saw where uh, someone had said that they liked it on their ice cream. Well, I'm willing to try that. Yeah. I, I thought, Ooh, that sounds good. And also, you could put in your cocktail drinks. Well, I'm definitely ready. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. We'll be there. So, you're ready to try it in your cocktail yeah, drink? I, I think it would give a good zing to uh, something with a uh, mm, few things that I, I can think of that would be delicious. But... Uh, Maybe go with 1800. So, then I also bought this one here because the whole burnt grain breads. And this right here has the buckwheat, the chickpea flour, and sunflower seeds. And it sounded delicious. And it has the recipe, too, right on the back. So I bought one bag of that to try. Because I do look for easier things now in my older age. <laughs> Definitely. You're getting old, really? <laughs> i tell you. My blinders. And then I also got the um, Palm Island Black Lava Sea Salt. This is good, like if you have steak or hamburger or even some fish, 
corn on the cob, anything. Um, it's also got the charcoal in it, so if it's something that you don't want to have in your um, diet, you will know that. But we do have we have used another brand before, and we were down to a smaller amount. And we are big salt fans. Um, this here we we do eat a lot of uh, sardines, and we usually use the brand from Costco. It's got a girl on the on the package. I, have I don't no know. No idea. I just eat it. <laughs> You've seen the package. I know the package. But anyways, but it I... does provide a, a lot of the same things here. But this, uh, this, you know that this is a good product when they can put that up there for the pregnancy. Because I know a lot of that, they, they don't recommend a lot of... Because of the mercury. Yeah, so um, we, I, I bought three of those to give those a try. Because we eat, we do, like, we like to eat those for our lunch. Yeah. And so... I bought uh, some more avocado oil. Usually I buy the big glass bottle, but this time it's gotten where, like, because my hands, I work my hands so much, I thought, well, this would be a better bottle to hold on to because we do go through a lot. So I went ahead and just got the case again. Um, yeah, we can put peppers and vinegar in there when we're done. Yeah, we, we do recycle the bottles and stuff. And I did buy one package of seeds, which I will have you all know that I did. Um, the seeds that I have got, and I have them planted downstairs um, in the basement, they have done very well. So brandywine is one of our favorite tomatoes that is an indeterminate. Um, so be prepared for to grow big. So it's absolutely delicious, a tomato. And then I also bought some of the lime oil, which I did go ahead and uh, sample this. And what I did when I sampled this, I put a drop in my water and also I put it in my diffuser actually. And it actually smells just like fresh cut limes. So, and like, again, this has the limeline and this is, this could also be used in a drink or key lime pie or any kind of uh, uh, lime. You're gonna have to get your bartender hat on. I can see that. Yeah. Um, the cinnamon chips I bought because, uh, we make a lot of different things like, um, tinctures, fire ciders, as you're not really supposed to call it fire cider because they, they actually marketed that term and, but that's what it, we all know it as. Uh, so your, your healing tinctures. Yeah. So it, that's what we bought that for. And then again, here was the lemon oil. So I, you know, if I got the lime oil, I had to get the lemon oil. Yep. And then I decided on one little treat this month, and this was my treat. And the bag did not come open. Something happened to it. Yes. <laughs> but I wanted to show they you. They are good. Yes. If you like anything chocolate butter, um, chocolate peanut, chocolate and peanut butter. Yes, they are. They are delicious. Good. They have good little chips. The Lilies is a really good brand. Dandelion dark roast. Um, there again, I bought some more dandelion, like I said. But this, um, right now, this is the caffeine free, prebiotic, and it's gluten free, acid free, which is a good thing because a lot of times a lot of people can't have a lot of acid, and uh, you know it's because of their throat or something. And sometimes when your throat is irritated, it's a good idea not to incorporate something very acidic. Um, dandelion root again, and this is, uh, I went ahead and got the, um, another thing to add to my herb collection. So even though, cause I know we, I don't know what we're going to get this year. And then I got some more of the sunflower lettuce and this right here we use for our tinctures and some of our, um, body products. Mm -hmm. This helps, uh, by making... Let's see. I'll read this to you because... It's a preservative. Yes, that, that is correct. Just like carrot seed oil. Yep, and, and our soaps. I'm Not, so smart. And um, rosemary ola resin, mm, however you I say that. That's hard to work with. Okay, it's a natural emulsifier. Um, it's both water-loving, so they call that hydrophilia, and water-repellent hydrophobic. Um, so that it means it's oil loving then. So it uses, we use it for salads, um, salad dressings, tinctures, and it can extend the shelf life in your body price, which is there your preservative. Um, some health benefits that are like low in cholesterol, 
and um, it can be a skin healer. So that's a good thing for your body products. So, and then again, they did put the, the flyer in um, this month, which I really missed when it wasn't in for the last two months. Um, yeah, I missed it terribly. <laughs> okay. But anyways, this month they have the roasted garlic recipe and I, we love roasted garlic yeah, and we good. do have some garlic. So now that is done and I want to take you over here to show you um, the plants that I bought, which I think you're going to be very, very happy with. So if you've um, thought anything about buying some plants from Azure. Yeah. They did a good Bruce, job. When he cut the box open, he was like, oh, these plants look great. Yeah. Anything someone else can do is great. So for this, I bought the um, Eden, um, Ellie's Eden Lemon Cucumber, uh -oh. which this um, works really well for the north, um, they said. And it does go, grow up to between three and eight feet, and it is a climber. It likes to grow in containers. Mm. All right, it's, you can also grow it in containers, but I don't want to keep this video so much longer. But just um, look at all those beautiful plants that we didn't have to grow. The mullein yes. and the fennel. Now the fennel is very hard to grow. Um, it, the seeds are very hard to germinate. I do soak my seeds, but I thought, well, heck, if I can get some from here, uh, I also bought the um, artichoke, three artichoke. I bought some more sage, which I grow that every year. We use that for some of our um, smudging. Mm -hmm. And also here I have got the, um, this one is the at, um, anise or anise, some people say. But this smells amazing. It smells like licorice. But uh, this is the yarrow, which I had yarrow at my other farm. Um not my other farm, but my last farm. Yeah. yeah. We don't need two. <laughs> Calendula, or some people say Calendula. Calendula. All right. And um, the Johnny Jumps Ups. Now, I wanted to tell you about the Johnny Jump Ups. You could make um, a jelly out of these. They have a kind of a minty, wintry green type of taste. Um, but they're very tiny, so you want to have quite a few. And I did get several of those. And then I got one of the Kiss Me Over the Garden Gate. I'd love to. Um, that's a nice, beautiful flower. And a lot of times the seeds will reseed themselves, even though they're annuals. And the comfrey right here is a, a perennial. And uh, comfrey again. There we go. If I can get some more, I'm very happy with that. And these are just a few extra of the stuff here. I got the broccoli right here, which is in the Nebraska family. Um... So that's, that's really it. Oh, and the basil. I did buy two sorted basils and the snowball um, cauliflower. Some more yarrow. So not to keep telling y'all about every single thing there is to say, but the plants here in the back, those are the ones I did and um, down on all the other shelves. Just a small yes. amount of plants you did. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Let's, just a good thing we're keeping it small. Yes. So I want to also show you something else before we go. So go ahead. All right, guys, look at this. I know. These are our raised bed planter boxes. All cedar, all one inch cedar boards. So. So? And there's Rosie Posey. <laughs> and our pond is full now. And it's not full of ice. It's not full of ice, too. That's what it looks like unfrozen, guys. Look, this is what it looks like when we don't have Michigan grass. Yes, with the Michigan grass is snow. Yeah, Michigan grass is white. Okay, so these are my planter beds. for. So I have places for all my plants. And over here is the greenhouse that we've been building. And... Notice I said we. <laughs> yeah, she's got a whole herd. <laughs> this is a, a Plana Sun Grow 32. It's a Canadian greenhouse that we bought for here. And this is going to be her seedling house. And, so, and we're putting our hot tub in the back. Yes. 
So, and I'm used to having greenhouses, so this isn't, you know, the first greenhouse. This will be actually my third greenhouse. Yes. But my, um, it, I'm not, my uh, high tunnel that was 100 by 30 at the other house will actually be over there yeah. on the other side. Yeah, it's here. It's just... Waiting it's just on, in yeah. boxes over there. <laughs> it's waiting on the install guy. So, and then I'm going to show you my other little plants before we go, and that's it. FedEx, this was the surprise at the end here that I wanted to show you. FedEx brought our onions today from Dixondale Farms. So this is the second year that I have bought from Dixondale, and I've been very, very pleased with everything. And guys, there's a lot of onions in them two boxes. <laughs> and uh, and but, some leeks. No, we didn't get leeks. We got um this fertilizer. Oh, the fertilizer too. Yeah, we used the um some of their their fertilizer last year also as well. And All the right. fertilizer was a game changer. It did work very well. Yes. This will be the end of the video just to stick this in here for you guys. Um, but I just wanted to show you all the plants that I also have um grown um down here in my basement. So I know the lights are of terrible on the video but well, you guys have been watching our videos no remember this cart that made it all the way from north carolina so and, we made the journey and there is and the beats and the beats and, and there and jack. jack we didn't grow jack we brought him with us <laughs> after he hid out in north carolina for how long three months with linda yeah no that yeah about three months almost the yeah. day we moved and we're leaving he was so scared. He hid in the house. And we under the steps inside of a cinder walk. Wall, wall, wall. Wow. And so our, Linda, our next door old neighbor, kept him until I could go back for the second trip to pick up the rest of the stuff. So anyways, guys, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the, the order from Azure. And thanks for watching. Hey, guys, I just wanted to add one quick note um, that I do play classical music for all my plants. And I run the fan like two hours on each shelf that they're on or a circulating fan that is larger that can go all, you know, day. So I just wanted to throw that in. Maybe it might help you. Thank you.